In today's video, I'm excited to share a basic yet incredibly versatile drill that you can adapt, challenge and expand to teach the core principles of the 5 art motion offense. If you've seen my previous videos on the 5 art motion offense and the drills to teach it, you know how effective this system can be for youth basketball. Check out those videos linked above if you haven't yet. This single drill is all you need to cover the fundamentals. And if you stick around until the end, you'll get a fantastic live game drill to elevate your team's performance. Let's get started. Let's start with the simplest version of this drill for warm-up, the give and go. We have one player at the wing position and all other players line up at the midline with their basketball. The first player passes the ball to the player at the wing position and cuts to the basket for a give and go, finishing at the rim. Immediately after the layup, the shooter sprints out to the opposite wing position to become the next passer for the give and go on the opposite side. The passer grabs the rebound and lines up at the midline. Now we continue alternating left and right. The three crucial elements of this drill are hard and accurate passes, aggressive cuts to the basket and an instant sprint to the wing position after the layup. We leave the basic structure as is and just add another player in the left wing position for the next level. Instead of a give and go, the top player cuts all the way through the key and the opposite wing player fills the top position to receive a pass. I like to use L cuts for this move as they are harder to defend. Player 3 finishes the cut at the wing position. Now the top player drives to the basket for a layup. I like to have an additional rebounder under the basket who grabs the ball and lines up at the midline. The shooter becomes the next rebounder and we continue the drill with an initial pass to the left side. Now we continue alternating left and right. Let's add some other options we have in this situation. The drill stays the same, but instead of filling the spot at the top, the players use a backdoor cut to keep the defenders guessing, leading to an easy finish at the rim. Now let's turn this into a shooting drill. The weak side player cuts straight to the free throw line for a mid-range jump shot. This option is particularly effective against a zone defense. The third variant is a three-pointer if the defender sinks too much towards the key. By adding two players to the corners at the low wing position, we create a full five out setup. After the pass, the top player cuts through the key and aims for the low wing position. The weak side wing player fills the spot at the top and the player in the weak side corner fills the wing position that has just become vacant. As soon as possible, add defense to the drill. This makes it more challenging and game-like, forcing the players to make decisions. I use the drills without defense only for warm-up to recap the basics. In this variation, we add a defender to the player on the weak side wing position. The offensive player must work to get open to receive a pass, followed by a 1v1 situation. A shot from outside is also an option if the defender isn't close enough. Another scenario occurs when the defender gambles and heavily denies the pass, allowing for an easy backdoor cut to punish the defender. After the shot, the defender grabs the rebound and lines up at the midline. The shooter becomes the next defender and steps out to guard the passer, who is the next offensive player. Remind players that they are prepared for each option and then make a clear decision based on the defense's behavior. Accurate footwork when catching the ball is the key to a successful finish. 
Another option on the wing pass is an off-ball screen at the weak side wing position. The top player passes the ball to a wing player and sets a screen on the opposite side. The wing player uses the screen for a cut to the basket and a finish at the rim. The player stationed under the basket grabs the rebound and the shooter becomes the next rebounder. To speed up the drill, the player who set the screen immediately opens up and receives the next pass from the player at the top, allowing us to seamlessly continue the drill on the opposite side. Vary the drill by allowing players to take a shot from outside or perform a backdoor cut. Just like the last drill, things get interesting when we add defense. The process remains the same, as does the rotation of the positions. The defender grabs the rebound and the shooter becomes the next defender. Now it's up to the players to make the right decision, whether it's a basket cut, a backdoor cut or a shot from outside, depending on the defender's behavior. Now let's move on to on-ball screens. By having the top player set the ball screen, we don't need to change anything in the basic structure of the drill. We start with a pass to the wing, followed by a screen from the passer. The wing player uses the screen and drives middle for a layup. The screen setter steps out to the wing position and we continue the drill on the other side. Again, this is just a warm-up drill before we add defense. We place one defender on each of the wing players and run the drill the same way as before. Pass to the wing and then we have a one-on-one -on -one situation. The defender grabs the rebound and the offensive player becomes the defender on the same side. The drill continues on the opposite side. Let's go over the different options the ball handler has when using the screen. The player can use the screen and drive middle. Alternatively, and often the best option, especially when the defender tries to avoid the screen in advance, is to reject the screen and penetrate baseline. Lastly, the player can opt for a three-pointer if the defender sinks in. As promised, here is the live game drill. I use it all the time and it's one of my favorite drills. We have three offensive players positioned at three of the five designated spots of the five out motion offense and two defenders. To ensure the offensive advantage isn't too great, we implement one constraint. None of the offensive players may leave a designated five out motion spot for longer than three seconds. After a penetration, a cut or a rebound, they must return to one of the spots. This rule teaches players one of the key elements of the five out offense, spacing. Clear the paint, fill an empty spot and create space for yourself and your teammates. This drill creates a comfortable environment for the offensive players, encourage them to try out all the options we discussed before. We have the give and go and the cut and fill move. You might consider disallowing screens because they would give the offense another big advantage and off-ball screens don't make sense in this context. But we still have open shots, drives, kickout passes and backdoor cuts. To cover all aspects of the 5-out motion offense, move on to 4-on-3 four or 5-on-4. Now we can use on-ball and off-ball screens as well as dribble add option followed by a backdoor cut. Remind players not to violate the 3 second rule and to return to one of the 5 out spots. This creates space and naturally leads to a fast and effective 5 out motion offense. By mastering these drills and incorporating them into your practices, your team will develop a dynamic and effective offense that maximizes spacing and player movement. For a deeper dive into every aspect of the 5-out motion offense, 
make sure to revisit my other videos for additional drills and advanced concepts. See you next time.